Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So I'm out here. Oh, we're already started. Well, that was my intro. So you guys probably know him, hopefully. That's Matt Mormon from Obsessed Garage. Matt, how are you? Welcome to my house. Thank you, I appreciate it. By the way, guys, we're here at Destination Obsessed Garage 1 or Destination OG1. So this is basically a mansion here in Helen, Georgia in the United States uh, that Matt purchased, but he outfitted it with a bunch of awesome stuff for anybody who likes cars or detailing or anything else around that but there's a lot of activities that you guys can do and what i want to do today is do a tour of the house and have matt give us the explanations because there's so much work that went in there visit his channel obsessed garage guys on youtube you're going to see all the hard work that these guys put in to bring it to phase number two now right has been completed phase two's done we're starting phase three in this this winter we'll talk phase about three. that as we go through the as house we go. And... so let's start with the crown jewel let's walk down i want to see the garage because obviously this is guys the best garage you've ever seen in your life for sure and by the way you can rent this if you want to i'll leave a link in the description under the video we don't call Check it rent that out. but it's pan. not rent yes it's how do you borrow for money borrow for money there you rent go. implies entitlement absolutely and that's you're not you're not entitled to mess up my house so. yes absolutely hands on his best behavior here in, uh, I try. in Helen. i try well oh, guys come on let's, let's, let's start the visit This for me is the uh, end game pressure washing setup and anything else related to a garage. So I mean, I I've seen it uh, on Matt's videos on his channel, but it ain't gonna be nothing like seeing it in real life. I am beyond stoked. My viewers know me, like I get excited with things like this, but man, I feel like a 10 year old child right now that's gonna like discover a crazy Christmas gift that he's been waiting for all his life. Oh, it is. The team has done such great work too with this. Is the Mustang still in there? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Matty. Let's do this. It's a six car garage. You think I should take a sneak peek? The full experience. I forgot which one's the right one. Of course, of course. Oh God. All right. All right, Pan, you ready for the garage? I am. I've this been is ready uh, life. this is everything that I've been dreaming of and all the products I've been working on since I think I was born, all in one spot. So the reason I bought this place and the reason I wanted to come up with this concept was we needed a muse. I needed a place to put all the things that I'm interested in and and showcase it, show it, you know, in video form. And then of course, because the property has to live, you know, we, we need people to come through and use it. Otherwise it'll sit here stagnant. So that's where the concept came up. And of course, the reason I bought this house in Helen was because it already had a seven car garage. This was all orange and yellow and yellow wood and now it looks like it does today which is pretty darn amazing oh so this is the best of obsessed garage has to offer yeah everything that we do everything that i offer no to this point all in one spot so flooring lighting cabinets tools pressure washer we can detail inside and out uh you came here last night but we didn't let him in here until now so this is his first time seeing it i don't, I don't even know where to begin but i'll be asking a lot of questions like this for me this is the Obsessed Garage Pressure Washer Setup. Uh, lead us through it, well, what's on here? Like I know a lot of my viewers have probably seen this, but just go through the details. Yeah, so the first, first concept was, um, this was kind of a unique house in that it has a drain, or it has floor drain. So the garage is actually on the second floor. Okay. So there's the basement below this. So they built this kind of like a hotel where there's steel pan decking, and then you know part of it is, is on, on grade, and then underneath is the home theater, and then the pool area. Uh, and so this second story, 
four-story garage was kind of unique. And it's about set, holds about seven cars, you know, depending on how tight you want to pack it in here. But, but, but because we had the double bay, the double wide bay, I thought, well, I want to be able to wash inside in the winter, but also be able to wash outside, yeah. you know, when it's nice weather. Like today, I would much rather wash outside than inside. And so we have a boom pole outside. And so this pressure washer, we set up a valve system. You have Krenzler K1322, which is the, I think, one of the, the best car washing, pressure washer in existence. Okay, this is a two gallons a minute, roughly 2.1 gallons a minute at around 1,000 PSI. Yep. So in real world, we're getting, you, know, you test you know, somewhere on 1.9 gallons a minute and it does right at 1,000 PSI. And then my you know, hose, the version of the hose that I've came so up with from Gates. So this is the Gates, Obsessed Garage one? Is the yeah. Obsessed Garage one and then custom black uh, hose reel. We do this in three different colors. And one day I sort of dreamt up the idea of taking air piping and turning it into a piping package that we could sell to people that they could sort of semi DIY this. Uh, and so this setup is about 3000 bucks. Uh, and water deionizer. Yeah. yeah, so I have the ability to switch between DI or you know net zero PPM water uh, yeah. or just use you know regular. We have a full softening system in the house, so the DI isn't super necessary, but even with softener, you'll still have mineral content yeah. left over. So having the ability to DI and then having water that's already treated makes the DI last a little longer. Spot free. Yeah. And so this valve here allows us, uh, Mike sort of dreamt this up where we can switch because the pressure washer can't can't support, like you couldn't have two guns going at the same time. So we're able to support uh, switching between washing indoors with the hose reel versus boom pole outdoors. And just because we're gonna have a lot of followers come and use this place, yeah. I could have put a boom pole in here, but I wanted to have both so they can kind of, most people aren't gonna do a boom pole at their house. No. Uh, and so having the hose reel here was important. So they and can then, get to experience this with a Mosmatic OG Spec yep, 1. Yep, yep, and then my gun, which you have one of these, yep. you know, with the swivel, which you've, one of the you've first made some videos on. And then um, we have uh, in our the OG bucket package, and then this is a bucket filler. Normally what I do with a bucket filler is mounted at 48 inches, but I knew that people weren't all gonna be six feet two like yeah. you. Yeah. So, so um, we put the shelves a little lower so we could do the press all ball bottles. Uh, you can see some of the things we're working out that uh, Tarex actually goes through the bottle, believe it or not. Even these press holes as well? Yeah, okay. so we have to figure out how to, how to manage that, well, some of the things I've been so working clean. on. But this has always been my vision, because yeah. these are all different companies. Yeah. Right? We have P&S, we have CarPro, we have McKees, we have all different brands of products, and I wanted to be able to put it in a matching bottle. Uh, and then I wanted matching labels, but I don't want to have to use just one product line. You know, this is what you do. You test products. And yeah. You want to use what you like, exactly. not what you're forced. Yep. Uh, and so this concept here, these are T304 stainless shelves that yeah. we, we, um, we have a company in North Carolina that makes them for us. And so we custom spec shelves for people all over the world. We build the shelves for them and, and just try to become a resource for it. Like this, this hose bib here, this is the P114, is 100 and, or 250 bucks for that sucker. <laughs> so, um, braided stainless yeah. steel. Yeah, so that's T316 stainless full. The cool thing about these hoses is that they're super pliable in yeah. metal form, which is awesome. And believe it or not, this is like an as seen on TV. I think it's the best the garden nozzle. hose yeah. nozzle. Uh, the fire hose, which these are like a $20 fire hose nozzle, but you put that in a combination like this and then you don't have to have a garden hose in here with a big giant hose. And you envisioned this through the years, like this is not something that you dreamt in one day and this is the evolution, this is the pinnacle. Of what yeah, well, the, when I started it, I mean, this pressure washer didn't exist. Yeah. I mean, the, the original one was the K1622, which only does about a gallon and a half a minute. It's not great for washing cars and it didn't have total stop. Yeah. Like your 1122 that you have, you release the trigger. Um, this one uh, is a, uh, what I said, I flew to New York and met the Krenzler family. I said, look, I want to have this, I want to have the 1122, but in a 1622 form with, you know, with this, you know, with this, with the total stop. Absolutely. And so that was, that was the hope was to be able to have something like that. And this isn't my final design, I don't think, but yeah. for the time being, you've seen lots of companies emulate this. Try, try to emulate that. <laughs> Always honor the source guys, by the way. It's, uh, there's, it's, there's it's, a reason it's why pretty it takes sick. time to, to imagine and think up. So we've got, you know, T304 Swiss stainless fittings. Like this is a $50 coupler, which you've experienced the difference Absolutely. between the Chinese and the Swiss. Yeah. Much, much different experience. So satisfying um, to quick connect. Yeah, yeah. And then be able to switch from foam cannon and, and, and back and forth. We could stand here talking about this so all the, day. the lighting but, also is very important. I see you've done something with LED. Yeah, so these are these are fixtures I've been chasing forever. Uh, these are from Cree. Okay. Uh, these are made for offices, skyscrapers, you know, big, big commercial applications. 
Uh, it took me several years to convince them that these could be for the garage. And because of supply chain issues, we haven't been able to fully launch them yet. If you ordered a set of these, we have them in the store, but it takes six to eight weeks to get. At some point, we'll stock these. But these are eight foot linear fixtures, eight foot and then four foot. They're really not that expensive. I think the eight footers are like $300, okay. but these are like 93 CRI, so high color go. render index, yeah. high quality. These are at 5,000 Kelvin. Uh, Which but is these, what you want in the garage. These are commercial fixtures. So you see this little box here? Yep. That's a zero to 10 volt controller. Okay. Um, so that's how they dim. Okay. Uh, and and then that is an RF for radio frequency connectivity back to the Lutron Picos. So one of my goals is always to be able to sell the paint, the lights, the switches. We now sell yeah, the, the switches. So the whole house is outfitted with Lutron stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This That's whole cool. house has Radio Raw, which is an indoor um, um, residential. And then in here is Lutron Vive. Okay. Um, so Vive is the commercial control system that we use for the garage. So our design team designs this for garages all over the country now. And we also did, I wanted to sprinkle in, do a little differently here, not just linear fixtures, but we also have recessed fixtures. Yeah. So in all the other additional pockets, we added recessed cans and nobody, none of the companies really make a 5k recessed can anymore they're always 4k and below yeah, exactly. we're talking about the color temp of course yeah and so i found this company called slg uh, through our supplier for for cree and um, they're pretty good we ended up using them all throughout the house uh, and uh, and so we have a you know, sort of a, a multi-zone lighting setup between the Cree linear fixtures and then the SLG lights. I and see, by the way, that you have air and power going to every corner of the garage. Yeah, um, we knew that we wouldn't be doing a ton of you know, heavy lifting, heavy work in here. So I didn't do quite as much air in this place as I normally do. But that's a, um, that's a Cox reel. So Cox is a company I found at uh, SEMA, same year we met. Yeah. Actually, maybe the year before. Um, and um, so Cox makes that, that. The cool thing about this reel, this is an easy coil. So the nice thing about it, normally when you let go of a, a hose, it'll take off. So this easy it's coils right. back in. Uh, and then we have Prevost couplers and Prevost piping throughout. The ones, yeah. But we have on-demand air that's supplied by a rotary screw compressor. One of the unique things about that compressor, it's an Italian compressor from a company called FIAC that yes. I've debadged. But the disadvantage to rotary screw for you and I is that we're not using our compressor all the time. And so if you buy a traditional, like a Kaiser or a Quincy rotary screw, um, you'll have water build up in the oil, you'll rust the head, you'll have it, major, major issues, you'll have to repair it often. Rotary screws need to be used. Yeah. And in a consumer, like a regular garage, I mean, I might use that thing once a month. Yeah. Uh, and so that has a specific oil heater that keeps the water you know, out of the oil and makes sure that the rotary screw head doesn't, doesn't um, mess up. But the cool thing about that, the Krenza operates at like 68 decibels when it's running. That's 59. Less than it's a pressure It's super, monster. super quiet. Wow. Super quiet. And the Krenza is actually really quiet. It is, with. yeah. So you got, this is the OG. Yeah, so that's a, a, a Continental hose that um, we've, we've sourced. Uh, and uh, it's a Continental F5. Uh, it's an industrial grade. I think it's made for like delivering, you know, water and things like that for certain commercial applications. Uh, but uh, we're actually going to be launching that very soon in a garden hose form. It's that and that particular style of hose can be really, really cool. And I see you. You have all the exposed Prevo piping. I Correct. love that. The I do too. Work. You know, yeah. people want to want me to recess it. I no, want to no. see it. I mean, yeah. that stuff looks awesome. It does. It does. Yeah. And the new Viper fan, which you've seen. Yep. So the new Viper fan, and I put one in here just to get air moving. It's a big space, yeah. So Mike spent eight days just on the ceiling. 12 just, hour days? Yeah, eight, eight, 12 to 14 hour days with some assistance from you know, a bunch of OG you know, employees and myself just to get the wiring to wire up the, you know, this place because these are all steel girders and it's- uh, Guys, it, if you wanna see the full transformation, check a look at Matt's channel for this because everything was vlogged and you're gonna see just how much work it did not look like this at all. Yeah, we've Even got- Even the color changed. That's all, we'll maybe link in the description there's a whole playlist of yeah, like 30 I'd episodes like or something like that. So this took about 30 days to build, by the way, you know, from 30. start to finish, yeah. First we did the lights, then we did the paint, then we brought the cabinets in, uh, and then, you know, so, so lights and electrical, then paint, then flooring, then cabinets. For then, people then wondering, do you mind sharing what the total budget was for the garage renovation? Um, I think there's probably no somewhere around 250 grand worth of product in here, something like that. Just the cabinet yeah. array, yeah. not the actual cabinets, but everything in the cabinets, including the cabinets, the TV, the audio, I figured is about 180 grand. Now, 
I have everything. I have every tool, every Milwaukee tool, every polishing thing, everything that we do is You're all You're going to show here. us right now. I want to yeah. see all this stuff there. So This is sonic cabinets? So the concept of this house was to, like when you go on vacation, you're not going to work. No. But we don't do this for a living. Yeah. And neither do most of the guys that are going to be able to afford to come and rent this or borrow this house from me. When you're on vacation with your family, you go out and you go hiking or you do something with the kids, you go to the water park, but at night you're here. And so I want to be able to, we'll talk about this when we show the kitchen and stuff. I want to be able to wash my car. I want to be able to right. touch all the tools or listen to some music. I want to be able to feel like I'm comfortable at home. And in this case, probably better than home. Absolutely. Uh, and so I wanted to have all the tools, even though we're not going to be changing suspensions. Yeah. I want to have all the detailing yeah. stuff in case yep. you wanted to try out some stuff. And so this cabinet array is outfitted with uh, my OG Milwaukee Master Collection. It's 47 tools. Uh, and so one of everything. I had lots of guys will come. They take all the tools out and then they kind of figure out which ones would I want. You know, everybody wants a master collection, but you know, a master collection is 17,000 bucks. So maybe you want the mini master collection or maybe so you just- you create that? You, you created that, right? The so master collection. I bought every Milwaukee tool and then I put my hands on them and I sorted through them and I figured out which ones do I actually want. And you can see we've used them to build this garage. Absolutely, yeah. Mike absolutely yeah. loves Milwaukee. Yeah. These are USA built, eh? It's your Chinese American built, company. Yeah. Yeah, it's American American, company, but yeah. they're, yeah, they're, they're US engineered, Chinese made in most cases. And then I wanted to have one of every tool that, um, that Sonic makes. Oh. And so I built a master collection where Mike has a few tools out, he's using them. I'm not but, a handy guy by any stretch of the imagination, but just like having all of this. Right. <laughs> oh my God. So, so these are Sonic MSS Plus <laughs> cabinets. Uh, and then Sonic's tool system is a organization system, I believe. Their tools, I don't think, are the best tools in the world. You know, okay. I think Snap-on's better, Mac tools are better, Wera tools, Hazat tools are probably better. But their tools are nice. They're relatively affordable in comparison to a Snap-on. They're half the price of a Snap-on, but the organization system yeah, is the best level. in the world. So you know exactly where your tools go? Yeah, That's yeah, nice. which is amazing. You know, when you come here to the mountains and you're ripping around in your GT3 or your, your Mustang or your, you know, whatever car you Turbo rented. S. Yeah, your Turbo S, your, whatever you're bringing. <laughs> yeah. One of the things that stinks about coming to the mountains when you stay at a place is it gets destroyed. And you shouldn't be rubbing on your car every day. You, then you, you, you basically, you gotta wait till you go home. So I wanted to have a place where people could come, go rip around the mountain roads, come in here, have all the tools they need if something broke, they needed to fix it, but mainly to experience it. What could it be like? What could it be like if I had this at my the house? Ultimate. So when you're on vacation, are you gonna need a, you know, a torque, a, a, a 3 8 torque wrench? You know, probably not. Um, but, it's, it's there. but it's here, I get to touch it, I get to feel it, I get to decide if it's something I want. Yeah. You know, and then we have above, we have every detailing thing that we do, pads, lights, um, um, battery, well, those are batteries Perfect. for our camera Some stuff. Every polisher, the new Milwaukee polishers, the Flex polishers, the Rupes polishers, all the ones that I use and like. Um, and we have extra gallons of everything. Um, there's all the scan grip lights. And that's the thing too, guys, by the way, if you're wondering, this is not just for Matt to use. When you guys come here, they can use all this. Yeah, right? so no when problem. people come, the concept was, I don't, you know, you're not buying it, you're paying for it, you're paying five or 6,000 bucks a week to come here, which is dirt cheap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I wanted to keep it inexpensive because I knew that we, this would help us sell a lot of products. Uh, and so you come and use pads and polish and have at it. So I've had people coding their cars. We have all the coatings, all the interior stuff over here. So everything that we do, every microfiber towel, you know, we're stocked with Crystal Serum Light and EXO. And, and the people that are coming here, you're not you gonna steal stuff. it. No. Yeah, I have, yeah, if you bring your mountain bike, I have the G-Technic bike line, which I love. Um, we have, you know, interior, all the interior stuff from Color Lock. Um, so one of everything of my process, all the stuff that I love and have vetted and it's in the Obsessed Garage store, yeah. everything's here and free to use. And then I just restock it as, you know, as people come and go. Uh, make sure that we have it here available for someone to use if they wanted to do a full correction, they could. Yeah. You got the Rupes polishers, we have the pneumatic polishers, you could use the air compressor to polish if you wanted to. Um, we I have remember. every, um, sorry, I didn't mean to cut yeah. you off there, we have every Milwaukee accessory, you know, so I have the, the what I put together, which I call my accessory master collection of all the drill bits. Every drawer is filled with something? No, there's okay. too many drawers, but so maybe oh. someday. Wow. 
What the heck? I'm always yelling at Mike for, I'm blaming Mike for this. You know, when people do this, they slam the doors of and course, it runs to the back. The handy band. So um, these, these countertops are from our uh, manufacturer that we have made for us. These are a, um, I always get this wrong. It's not mahogany, it's- um, Walnut? Walnut, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I keep calling them mahogany. And, and mahogany would be like 10 times the cost. At the cabinets, when I met you at SEMA the first time, I remember how big you were on quality cabinets and you yep. introduced me to Rousseau, to yeah. Rousseau which yeah. I have in my garage, but this is MSS Plus. So this is like, the, it's the similar, yeah, similar. Rousseau, it'd, be, right? it'd be in that top tier. So Lista, Rousseau, um, Moduline, Sonic, you know, they're all in the, you know, that sort of upper, upper, you, you upper echelon. As soon as you operate this, like the build quality is. Yeah, yeah. The fit and finish of this, you know, Rousseau is much more industrial. Yeah. Um, this would be much more like dealership, you know, race team focused. Yeah. Um, you know, Rousseau has a massive catalog like Lista does. Um, but the, the Rousseau stuff, or the, your stuff has an advantage to use is the Austrian door glides, mm -hmm. uh, which are 440 pound capacity. These are 275 pound capacity, which is more traditional way. drawer slides. And then we have under lighting under mountain. Yeah, cabinet. so then we have our obsessed garage under 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 cabinet lighting under each cabinet, and um, you know to kind of complete the setup. We also do audio, so these are. Yes. I'll have you listen to these later. I'll, I'll give you some audio I, demos afterward. He introduced me to the Dyn Audio stuff I have in my garage. That you guys probably saw the video. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it, for anyone who loves hi-fi, which I'm big on music, I never had anything in my garage worthy of it. And Matt said, listen, it's the last thing you'll need in your garage, believe me. And this is like the pinnacle. What series is this? So this is the core series. You have the LYD series, which yeah. would be the one step below. Um, these, are, these are studio monitors. The, the garage, you can even hear the echo in my voice. Garage is not a, it's not a good listening environment, no. but neither is the car. And what are the two places you listen to music in more than any other? The car and the garage, exactly. right? Especially if you're a detailer, you're in polishing for hours. It's great to have great audio, whether you're listening to a podcast, watching a movie, listening to some music. Um, to me, I think having quality stuff in the garage is important. Uh, and so this setup is our ultimate setup for the garage. It's about 22,000 um, bucks. But we have uh, Dynaudio Core 59s. These are powered speakers. They have their own amplifier built in. Uh, it's actually a three channel amplifier. So each driver has its own amplification. Uh, and then this is the pre-amplifier. And this pre-amplifier has a Dirac room calibration on board. So that helps a little bit with the, the poor acoustics of the garage, yeah. the, the harsh surfaces. Yeah. And then I have a subwoofer over here. The core subwoofer is over here in the corner. Which is a bit different than the one I have, right? It's basically two of yours in one box. Oh my God. Right? And so that's, <laughs> so the, that's the core sub. Yeah. And, uh, um, we'd play it for you, but you'll get, we'll get copyrighted and you, you wouldn't really be able to get the true idea. But um, it's, um, it's, it's, I think, a great compromise because these are near field monitors. They're designed to be listened to in a recording studio where yeah. you're listening closely. Uh, and so they, for whatever reason, the Silk Dome tweeter combined with that near field design tends to do pretty well in the poor acoustic environment of the garage. And they don't color the sound that much because they're studio monitors, so it should be as flat as possible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dirac's going to do a little room calibration there, but yeah, you want you know flat frequency response as much as possible. I see you have an AC unit, so people are cool and comfortable. I, I put that in. That's a Mitsubishi 24,000 BTU um, mini split. You know, that, uh, roughly, t I think it's like 26 C or so, super, um, super efficient. Uh, I have a, a LG Mini LED. 75 that's, inch. Yeah, yep, huge. that's the Q. That's the QNED 99. Yeah. In case anybody's wondering. But he does have OLED in the house, which is what I like too. Yes. But for the garage, it's more. So for LCD for the garage because of the yeah. glare, especially if you have the, the doors open. Wi-Fi, by the way, too, is legit in the place. He has the Unify little um, yeah, whole house. points everywhere. Uh, my friend Dane came down from New York, an OG follower, and got a set up with a full uh, Ubiquiti network. Love uh, it. So the whole house is covered by Ubiquiti APs and the Ubiquiti That's switch. That's what I have in my house. And then we have the Sprinter 7. So this is a, um, because of the ceiling height, we couldn't do a full height lift. And because we're on a second floor, we couldn't recess it like I did at OGHQ. Uh, but this will go up to 40 inches. And like if I put the if I put um, Rob's Mustang on here, we'd be able to go full 40 inch height and still have room. What's the ceiling height here? Uh, it's only eight foot four right here at the okay. low point, but we're able to get a you know a roughly 58 inch, 60 inch tall car all the way up to 40 inches. And this is different from the news palm you're used to, right? Yeah. So mine at my garage is a full height, so it goes up to 74. 
74, 76 inches. Yeah. Um, this is a mid-rise or a but 40 inch. But this is still inch. plenty enough. This, like I, I would be door height at this point, so it's perfect. Yep. Yeah, and you you know if you're if you're um, you know polishing the rockers, lower rockers, you just sit on your stool. Yeah. That's generally how you would do it. And then we have our approach ramps because lowered cars. Uh, and the beauty of a scissor lift is that um, I have full 360 degree access, unlike a two post. You know, two posts are a little bit more functional for work underneath, you know, mechanic work under the car, but for a detailer, a scissor this lift is, is absolutely the absolutely. way to go. Yep. Uh, and so this, this new new bomb is, we uh, worked with them to create this color, this black and galvanized color, I think looks really cool. And they could just pull up to this door and the car straight in? Correct, yep. Unlikely that most people are really gonna use this in a vacation home, but it's to, to, to be able to see what it's like. If, if you want to feel one. what it would look like this in a home yeah, garage, This right? is like a $7,000 piece of equipment that it'd be Super nice to be able to touch and feel. Uh, and so people can come here and, and utilize it. I remember seeing Mike doing the channel there for the wiring. Yep. Super yep. nicely done. Swiss tracks flooring. Eight. Correct. Yeah. You're a firm believer in that. There's a vein. Uh, there's a there's a drain in here as well. If somebody wanted to wash, I don't know why they would, but they could. And um, the beauty of the Swiss tracks is, I mean, this is all dirty, but the dirt is disappears. Underneath, yeah. That's Especially the magic for this of kind it. of a climate, well, you're you're never gonna have slush and. All sorts of crap. Under even it, if though? you do, you know, you and I have talked about this. Even if you did, uh, then all the slush and dirt falls underneath it, and you clean and, it up and once the a year. Through to the drain, anyways. Yeah. yeah you see, like uh, our friend Rick in Canada, out in Calgary, who has Swiss right tracks, and yep. he does it two or three times a year, where he pulls it out and and, and cleans it. Nice. Out. The nice part about this is that leaves and dirt and stuff like that doesn't doesn't become a problem. I see you got the flex vacuum there, wet and dry. Huge fan. Yeah. Um, I actually funny story on that. I bought that thing. I bought both of them just to try out, and I'm like, ah, I don't know if I love it. And it's the longest lasting product I've had in my garage out of anything. And I finally realized this year, I'm like, you know, I really like this thing. I should probably just endorse it. It looks yeah. serious enough. I've it's never good. tried one. The accessories before. are really nice. Um, I'm actually about to launch, which you'll want for your garage. I'm about to launch a new Obsessed Garage solution. We'll get you one. Um, on, on wall solutions can be incredible. Yeah. There's not a lot of manufacturers of these, eh? There's like one or two companies in the world that make these. This is made by Nilfisk. Yeah. And we talked to Nilfisk, but um, the Nilfisk is like $200 more. It's the same freaking vacuum. So Flex is, a, I think, the best, even at 650 bucks or whatever, that's 640 bucks. Um, that thing is, um, you know, it's, it's, I think it's, I think it's worth every penny. Um, but it is a really expensive vacuum. The other one to compete would be Festool. Festool makes some great vacuums too. And I've been told by Mike that you tried a cordless Milwaukee polisher that you really enjoy. Yeah. So I have the Flex cordless ones. Yep. And you really, really like the, uh, the Milwaukee one? Yeah, they're pretty incredible, man. You saw I, that in your store too? Yep, yeah, so this is the this the, the 15 and the 21. So you can use the same batteries as mm -hmm. the rest of your tools? Yep, yeah, and that battery will last, you know, two batteries is all you need you know, to kill, you know, you can knock out a whole car. And we'll, we'll use it, you know, Pan and I were talking about maybe, maybe we get a car, or maybe we work on the rental or that something like cool. that this week. We'll, pop, we'll, we'll do some detailing, but yeah, the Milwaukee is, um, dare I say, I've been polishing my E36 at home and um, I got the 21 out. I've been switching back and forth and after three switches, was it mine? Then I was done with the, with the Rupes. I was just using Milwaukee the whole time. Okay, that's I, awesome. I like to blow up my pads outside. Yeah. And so to unplug every time, to walk outside or drag the cord all the way across, it's just more efficient to me. Cordless, cordless. everything. When they're good and the technology's getting yeah. better. Do you have a blower in the, uh, in the garage? Yep, yep. So oh, that's all air and then you just grab the Tornador. You know, so I have the Tornador here. Yep. I haven't tool gridded this out yet, but um, I got the Prevost Prevo. blowers yeah. and then the, the Tornador version. Like this is the, the Flex version, the XFE 15. Have, it's just really underpowered in comparison. You have to be really good to keep this on, you know, keep it, keep the pad rotating. It's nice, but it, it you know, you're running it at full bore and it's still underpowered. Yeah. This darn Milwaukee, you're going to run it like 80% and you could lean on, stand on that darn thing and it still has plenty of juice. And that's a dual action, right? Correct. they make a forced rotation of this one that I have as well? Yeah, not Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Milwaukee is only dual action, 15 okay. millimeter and 21 millimeter. I like the 15, you know, 15 Yeah, is it's, it's more versatile, same for me. Yep. And then this puppy. Um, have you used the pneumatics? No. Yeah, and we'll get well, you on the well, pneumatics. When we were at the show, you said you got to try those, and yeah, they do yeah, feel yeah. amazing. So we'll get pan on the pneumatic. This if you have uh, a compressor like that, yep. it really helps. This is a change of life. What's this the minimum little... air requirements for that kind of stuff? You if need you really it, want to have at least 12 CFM. Okay. So you need like at least a three horse, yeah. you know, at least a stout two horse compressor 
And that's a three horse and it's like right at the very minimum of what we need to make it work. Even this guy, wow. But that's a screw compressor. Okay. And so if it were a three horse piston, it would have a lot more, it would have more output. Yeah. Um, so we couldn't run two of these off of that compressor at the same time. But uh, I'll show you this puppy. The, the really unique thing about this for all your detailers, uh, most three millimeter, or most three inch are 12 millimeter orbit. This is a 15 millimeter orbit in a three inch. So that's what makes it, and it's smooth as silk. It's not worth spending 10 grand on a compressor and airlines just for this tool, but if you have one, I'll show Why not you. Go it's, in, yeah. it's incredible. Because the tool yeah. alone is not what is, what's the splurge. It's, it's 260 bucks exactly. for this. Yeah, it's way yeah. cheaper than the regular Rupes stuff. Tool's actually pretty simple. One thing I can tell, because I'm getting the bug already, guys, if you come here and experience this, you're going to want to purchase everything. <laughs> and yeah, That's more the things coming down the pipeline. Or like, you know, like the orange vice. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, there's no business having a vice here, but why the heck not? <laughs> And then we have our lights. I, I have to, um, it's, always, it's always evolving, but I'm gonna, when we do um, our RAW 2, we'll do some RAW 2 stuff to control these from a switch over there. This and all, all stuff I have to engineer. And, and let me tell you this, because I saw the build that Matt did in the other house in Atlanta, that big, I don't know how many square foot. 5,000 square feet, yeah. So for me, this one is even better because it feels more homely and more, uh, Personalized, I don't know. This has also changed my thought process on ceiling height. I always thought I'd want 16 foot massive yeah. ceilings. And this, something about these, now these are probably a little too low for, for, for you know, preference, but having a lower ceiling height make this, makes this feel more like a living room to me. I agree. Uh, it makes me want to hang out in here. Uh, and so it's made me second guess doing like a big vault or something like yeah. that. It's easier to light the place more accurately when your ceiling's Absolutely. a little lower. But I think, you know, that maybe it's like nine foot four to the peak and eight foot four at these little, these little beams. Yep. But I think maybe, you know, 10 feet. I, my home, my home, home garage is 11 foot five, probably close to yours. I have you know? 13, yeah. Yeah, so that, that taller ceiling has its benefits, but this has kind of made me question, you know, maybe, maybe taller isn't always better. No. Um, and no, I guess it depends on what you're doing. Any space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, this looks gorgeous. So we could spend all day in here. We should probably go show them I the house. I want to see the rest. Yeah, because there's that, that's not the end of it. If you thought this is cool, wait till you see the rest. Let's show, uh, let's show them the outdoor wash bay real quick. How many square feet is the house inside roughly? Um, it's approaching 6,000, something like that. That's way too much for anybody else. Yeah. yeah. I remember going around yesterday doing a bit of the tour and saying, well, here's another door and another door and another secret place and another you're going to see. It's tremendous. But he, they, they did a great team team effort to have all this happen. So, so I wanted the option to be able to wash outside as well. And one of the cool things, have you ever felt a mosmatic boom? Just walk in a circle with how smooth this sucker is. I've never had the experience of this. Yeah, yeah, so, so this boom is like smooth as silk. So you would hold on to it and as you're pressure washing? Yep. And what that's is that, the original. bearings inside there? Yeah, it's a T it's a T three six or T three hundred four stainless, and then with Mosmatic. Mosmatic's claim to fame is their ball bearing swivels. So you never have to worry about pulling the cord. Like you just go around your vehicle three sixty degrees. Correct. Wow. Correct. I love. And this. the boom pole's not that. I want to say that boom pole is like a thousand bucks or less. You know, like eight nine hundred bucks, something like that. Could so it's not crazy expensive. My OG pressure washer setup. You think? Hmm? Would yeah. it? Would could this be possible in my house? Yeah. Oh my Very god. Easy. And then when you're done, you put it in the Mosmatic holder. I yep. This. Holster it. And then we did a bucket filler out here. So this is the normal height I do a bucket filler at 48 yeah. with a 24 inch bucket filler. And then it just makes it super simple to fill up your buckets whenever you need to. Is this good for uh, any winter climates? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are um, these have a um, the anti-frost you know, length inside. So yeah, you um, you could use this. So no worries um, there. Yeah, you'd you'd want to you, you winterize it if you you know yeah, for, yeah. for you guys because you're getting minus you know minus thirty one Fahrenheit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you'd probably want to put a, a cap on it, but it, they are they are anti freeze or frost proof, if you will. And did this bay come with the drain, or you guys installed this? This was already here. Yeah. So they can wash cars outside, inside, wherever they want. So that was the beauty of this place: is that the vision, the the, the muse was here. I just yeah. needed to put the stuff in it. And it's covered, it so there. you don't have the sun blasting on you. You even yep. have, I see, a little fireplace there, yeah, yeah. so you can have a fire chat or fire wash. Or <laughs> oh my god, a little ridiculous, but yeah. But why not, right? This is the whole point of this yep. place: is why not? Yep. And we're working on constantly. So we're up here working on. We found some really disconcerting dry rot that we're going to have to fix. Um, but, uh, you know, that's part of the chase. Exactly. Make it better. Make yep. it great. So let's go inside. I'll show yep. you around. So we're on a, we, we seem to be on a multi-level. We're on a cliff or something? Yeah, we're on the side of the mountain here, I guess. Phase one was garage function. 
All right, so we needed furniture, function, and garage. So I needed everything functional, make sure everything was working. Yeah. That was in June. So when I bought the place in June, we stayed up here for 29 days, worked 15 hours a day with four or five of us, shot a whole series on it. We wanted to finish the garage, which we did, and I wanted to get it furnished. So my interior designer from Florida came up. They were able to, you know, with supply chain issues, they were able to, you know, her and my wife were able to go to a, a Scott's in Atlanta, which is a, an antique show or an antique Generally antiques, but they also sell new furniture in North Atlanta, and they were able to furnish the whole house in a couple of days. So Michelle had her word to say. Eh? Yep, yeah. so we got a custom couch. I freaking hate this couch. It's super uncomfortable. So this is gonna have to go, but this is the custom couch that we had made and then all the furniture. And then this room already had, so this whole house had you know old school audio. Yeah. It had control four, which I hate, uh, and had, um, because I can't control it, I can't program it. And it had uh, Lutron, Lutron lighting and, and shade control, which I love. Yeah. Uh, and so I tore apart all the control four stuff and made it all my own stuff. So I'm a big fan of NAD uh, and uh, Blue Sound, their Blue OS platform. I'm a big fan of LG OLED, which is what this is, the G2 inch. OLED. Yeah. One of the requisites for this place is that I wanted a comfortable couch, which I failed, but it at least it is, works. No, it's still very good. I want a comfortable couch and I want a great TV and great sound. Uh, because when I go on vacation, they always have some wicker furniture, yes. super uncomfortable, <laughs> looks good, but uncomfortable. And then they have some like, you know, element TV from Walmart, you know, because they're it's a rental. They're trying yeah. to make as much money as possible. Yeah. Well, I want this to be like home. This is my house that I'm letting people borrow. Uh, and so believe it or not, these are, uh, these are Dynaudio uh, LCRs. So Dynaudio Studio Series, Dynaudio Studio Series on the back there. So this is a Dolby Atmos 5.2.2. So Def, Def Tech in wall subwoofers, which I don't love, but okay. they are already cut into the wall, so I'm stuck with those. It sounds and pretty good, though. This uh, is I powered by a NAD T778 uh, re receiver, which is down in the server room. I'll show you that. Um, but the cool thing about this setup is that um, um, you know I'm, I'm able to kind of watch TV when I'm cooking in the kitchen or sitting at the table, yeah. and, and it has great sound. Great video, great you know, great and quality this video. This is it, this isn't even the full home theater. Wait, no, wait yeah, this is this is just the, this is just oh, like the family yeah. room regular stuff. This is stuff. crazy, yeah. Yeah, and it's so, already more than most would expect. So this system, what did I added it up. It's probably like twelve grand, something like that, ten, twelve grand, to, if you wanted to do something like that. And, and you go to a rental, and they wouldn't have it. No. Now I wouldn't be able to do this if I didn't sell this stuff. Yeah. You know, so we offer all kinds of solutions, and I'm intending to start doing some home theaters, very specific niche home theater stuff, the stuff that I like. Uh, and uh, and so I want to be able to showcase this, this. And when you come here, the end goal is to have QR codes in each room, so you can very, you know. Very very, I guess, uh, not in your face QR codes, but I'd have a QR code that you could scan and it would be a video that would show you how to. Right now, if you go to Obsessed, the, the Destination OG site, you can watch all the how to's, like how to operate this system, how to use the what's in the kitchen and what's available, um, how to use the home theater, how to use the garage, how to switch to the boom pole outside, all those kind of things. And eventually, I guess, if people want to buy the setup they see? They Correct, can... they'll be able to click right into That's the smart. store. Right now, they would contact us and my design team would, would design it for them, but um, the concept here was that I wanted to keep the rent very low for what you're getting. Yeah. I wanted to have something that doesn't exist in the world yeah. for me and for the people borrowing. Yeah. And um, and then I wanted to be able to offer products and have a showcase, have a place to put all these, to put all that stuff in the garage in one spot. Yeah. Uh, and then show it, you know, in video form, share it with guys like you to come and share it with Absolutely. the world. Absolutely. And, and I told you, like, you can rent five star hotels for ten grand that I have personally done in my life, and they, they won't give you the experience that you're going to get here because everything yeah. is under one roof. Yeah, I mean, you'd have For to know. Days. You'd have to you'd have to be interested in this kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Most contractors don't know. You yeah. know, I've been spending my whole life on this very specific topic, garages, audio. And that's been my life. Uh, and then the other thing I'm really interested in is kitchen stuff. I don't know why. I can tell. I don't like to cook, but I like the stuff. I don't know how to cook, but I like and so, good eating. My wife went to, uh, my brother-in-law rented this place in Destin, Florida, real nice beach. It was like a, I think it was like, like $18,000 for the week. And they went there and they went and caught some red snapper, right? They went deep sea fish and they caught some snapper and they had it butchered or whatever. And then they come back and they cooked like some of it. But then they had some leftovers and they're in this like, you know, $18,000 a week place. There's not a Ziploc bag. There's not a Rubbermaid container. There's like two mismatched, mismatched forks. 
There's no like no. There's like an old crappy pot and pan. So I wanted to have everything. Yeah, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't yep. have to be fancy. This, this is, is my Hayfella hey drawer organization. Yeah. These are Lennox, you know, Lennox Gorum. You know, I've got a various utensils. I uh, forget. It. Um, Forget the brand of these, but and I'm trying out some different different brands of. Pro I think it's Missin is the brand of mm -hmm. these. I wanted to have um, some nice knives, you know, so I did some Japanese steak knives from Yaxel. Yes. Uh, we have made in pots and pans, which I found out aren't the best. Now I want to replace them uh, <laughs> with uh, with some Demeyer is what I'm hoping to do. That's one thing you guys have to know. He likes. He's kind of like me. When we look for something, we go down the rabbit hole and trying to figure out what the best is of what wherever we're looking for, right? So we have yeah. the farmhouse sink here. The best isn't always the most expensive. No. Um, phase four will be lighting, like goofy light fixtures like this. Okay. Um, you know, I've gone through and replaced all the lights in here. Yes. A lot of them are like, they're like screw in LED. So these are all SLG lights set to 3000 Kelvin. So a warmer I, tone. Yeah, I prefer 3500 in a home, but because of the warmth, the yeah. browns and tones yes. of this house, 3K worked better. Yeah. Uh, it already had a Sub-Zero fridge, Wolf, you know, Wolf range, which you I love. You guys want to experience that. I mean, yeah, exactly. Things I'd love to do, phase four and five, I want to do an ice, I need to do an, an ice maker in here. We actually have tomorrow, I don't drink coffee. Me neither, but. But we have some ridiculous <laughs> coffee, what's that thing coming here, Mike? Yeah, some crazy things. Oof, and oh yeah, I know the brand. And we're going to have a whole you know, series on how to operate and how to use that. It's going to be my test of bringing in experts yeah. on things that I don't have an interest in but need to fit into Destination OG. Uh, and Walking so pantry. I bought Noritake, you know, you know, like nice cups and plates and, yep. and, and then people can go down the street. There's a really cool grocery store here. Um, but and I wanted paper plates and I wanted things that were here um, that people could use. And so there's and you, no and you can host people too, right? There's look look at all right. the stuff that you can there's no there's no locked closet. There's no like off limits detailing stuff. You know, if you forgot your contact solution, I have some there, just use it. That's the concept. Okay. Because this is, you know, I'm, I'm you know, like if your viewers want to borrow this, they're going to have to convince me. You know, this is my freaking house. Yeah. Right? You're, this you're isn't a rental. Your house. This yeah. is not on Airbnb. It's not VRBO. This is for people that are bought in, yeah. bought into obsession, bought into organization, bought into a structured life. We're the people that return our cart. Life. You know, when you go to the grocery store, you return your cart. Half the time, I take it back into the store. Yeah. You know, and that's and if you don't that, disinfect. Those are the that. people that I'm looking to, yeah. to come and that and will that sense. will that will appreciate this, this place because that's a big concern. So people are like, well, what about damage? And I said, well, most of the time, people it'll be an accident. It's not because they meant to. It would be an accident, and we'll just fix it. Yeah, you know. And you, if you broke something, you would call me and say, hey, I want to buy this. I want to fix it. Absolutely. I want to order a new one. I'd make it right. Yeah. yeah. If your kid fired a you know baseball through the TV, you would it would sting, <laughs> but you'd buy me a new TV. You yeah. know, that's what you would do. That's Absolutely. what the right type of people would. Do. Other people are trying to steal towels and steal, you know, detailing supplies, but yeah. our people don't do no, that. No, exactly. So the room, so the house has right now four bedrooms. Uh, so two kings, two queens. I'll show you in a minute. We're gonna build a, um, we're gonna build a, uh, a bunk room, which is gonna be kind of cool. But like the bathrooms, like this is not my style. Yeah. And that was what I was torn on this house. This yellow wood is not my style, but it works. Absolutely. And, and I think our, my interior designer really helped me figure out how to make it work and feel home, yeah. like home, Homey, feel yeah. comfortable. Um, things that I plan to do, like I hate these kind of HE front loading washer dryer. Yeah, I gotta my get my God, speed queen. Laundry room. I gotta get my speed queens in here, but you know, before you leave, wash all your stuff. That way you get home and everything's clean. Yeah. You know, we have um, bounty paper towels, not some single ply garbage. I have nice toilet paper, you know, things that annoy Hansel you when you go, yep. you go on vacation, you can spend a lot of money and they buy single ply toilet paper. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. So we're going to be doing um, our closet system. So I'm going to do a, this will be where our, our linen headquarters will be. And I plan on testing out, I'm testing out right now all kinds of towels, all kinds. I hate the sheets that we have here, but I tried this company called Brooklyn and I don't like them. I'm going to try another brand, try another brand, find the brands that I like the most on things that I'm not an expert in yeah. and try to figure that out. That's, Absolutely. that's the goal. So this is one guest room here. So this is a, a queen. It wasn't quite big enough to squeeze a king. Um, phase three is going to be closets, which we're going to do in the winter. Uh, and so we're going to do our closet organization system and all the closets here. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to save the master for, you know, maybe later next year. I'll show you in a minute. The master closet is insane. It feels very cozy and appropriate for the area so like you feel yeah. this warmth 
you know, you're in the woods, you're yep. getting that vibe. You want to feel different, I guess, from the house you own too. When you come here, it's a I think so. Yeah. But, you know, I was kind of torn on that because I was real rebellious against that comment. Like, oh, I want my exact house in the mountains. No. Because a lot of the houses on vacation are too themed. Yeah. So I feel like this, I it's mine, so I'm probably biased, but I feel like this fits the right Absolutely. style, but not too turn. much. Yeah. It's not too far. Exactly. But we're going to do some different paint and we'll probably adjust it a bit. Uh, let's go upstairs and show them the office and the other the other rooms. Lots of natural light coming in. There's windows you see outside everywhere. You see all the trees. You can hear the birds chirping. There's a little stream of water not too far from here, which I really like. Very calming. Oof, of course. So office. a lot of people that are going to be successful enough to come here and rent this place, even though I have it underpriced, it's still a lot of money, yeah. five, six thousand bucks a week. For sure. A lot of people, you know, they're going to come and they're going to do some work. Uh, and so I'll be here when we do some editing and I'm doing some work. So the Dell 38 Ultra Wide, this is what we use at OGHQ for all our guys. That's a uh, steel case chair. Uh, and then have some, you know, Dyn Audio set up here uh, with some Dyn Audio LYD5. There's a little, su little sub down in the corner there. Um, so you have a nice little setup for working. And this is a uplift desk with our custom tops that we do. Um, and you could raise the height of this? Yep. So this will go up to 52 inches. Wow. And then I wanted all the wires all tied up nicely. So OG Desk Solutions will be coming here very soon through Destination OG. So that's a project we'll be working on early first, second quarter. So you'll be able to, we'll set you up with, like even things like I've chased trying to find the right kind of wire chases. In the back, all of them yeah. are plastic. Yeah. And so this is a company that I found several years ago from lots of trial and error. So I feel like there's some value in that. And they can see how you organize your wiring and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, and then um, then the, the concept would be to make this a turnkey solution. If you want this setup, we you know, we'd sell you this you know this setup. That's, so they that's can the connect goal. their laptop there, yep. ready to go. You have so the I audio have, interface. Yeah, so I've got my two two wires sitting here. You plug in your PC or Mac, and a 38 inch ultra wide. Ult ultimately, I'd love to have two like you know two you know Apple 27s. Yeah. The new 27 monitors would be cool, but got to draw the line somewhere. But this looks so clean though. I yeah, love it's comfy. That. Absolutely love that. And this is the same, you know, we saw that in the garage, right? The yeah. same, same countertop. Absolutely. Because, you know, the garage is very sterile looking. My style is very sterile, very clinical. I figured throwing in a little bit of warmth with the, you know, with yeah. the, uh, with the, the really red wood um, would sort of match the house. Absolutely. Again, like you look at the bathrooms, like the, the reason I bought this house, the person who built this, super attention to detail. Um, like imagine trying to lay this floor, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and the, yeah. the, the, the details that did not get, not my ideal style, um, but the quality, like there's a lot going on in the shower, yeah. um, but it's not something that um, it's too good to rip out and redo. I exactly. Think. Uh, and so they did a great job of like this house was built in 2012, but they did all the modern stuff. They did uh, closed cell spray foam insulation. They did uh, zip bar sheathing. Um, they did um, uh, composite uh, ceiling tiles. Uh, this is built on a steel uh, steel I beam construction. This place is built like a hotel, which is really cool. And it's efficient. And then this room here, that closet's going to be awesome when we do our closet system. Yeah. Um, and the one of the things I struggle with with closets is that in the U.S. I don't know if it's this way in Canada, but there's this weird system. You go to like California closets uh, or closet made, and they don't tell you how much it costs. Mm -hmm. And they come out to your house, and then they do some sort of rendering, and it's oh, yeah, this whole process. Yeah. And then at the end. It's like $30,000 and you crap a brick and then you don't do it. Yep. Uh, and so what I'm trying to do is cut all that crap out. We'll design it for nothing and just make a single layer of margin. And so you can get a $20,000 closet for eight. And it's DIY, you do it yourself? Mm -hmm. but super easy, simple, right? yeah. super simple. Or someone like you, you would probably pay someone, yeah. but you could pay, hire a handyman for a few hundred bucks to come and install it. You know, me, I would try to jank it together and I would, you know, fumble through it, but I could do it. Yeah. And that was a key requisite. Could I do it? Yeah. Like at my medium man, real man level, um, could I, you know, could I get it done? And so we're going you know, to chase that. This so, is very spacious. Like, I mean, the whole, the vibe again, super quiet too. One thing I noticed, we were four in the house yesterday, everybody in their quarters, you couldn't hear anything. Yeah. Just super quiet. They did, like this stuff is like the, the dream, like these windows with that, with a shade yeah, built yeah. in. These are argon fill, filled triple pane windows. Like that window there is probably like 1800 bucks. Just the window itself? Wow. Each window that you would want. Yeah. 
Like you built the house, you it? but you got to draw the line, yeah. you know, and they didn't draw start? the line. And that's why I bought this house. Yeah. You know, because like the, the, all the detail, all the things and that they spent. And you can spent. tell no floor cracks, like everything's super solidly built. Yeah. Even the handrails, yeah. even outside. Yeah, all is... this stuff. This is Ipe wood, okay. hard wood. Wow. Um, which is what, you know, like a Brazilian walnut. So they mixed kind of the country vibe with a bit of modern touches, like these. Yeah. yeah, I like that. This is actually this is actually true stone. This isn't uh, faux stone. This is like three inch thick stone. Okay, yeah, and you we, can tell it. Right? Yeah, so they they did, and you see all the all the uh, the, the beam construction has all stain like these are all stainless bolts. Yeah, and uh, things that again you would dream of doing but wouldn't, and I was able to buy it for you know a fraction of the cost because of the area you know this area this is a really big house for this area so the comps didn't support yeah. you know what this house was worth this do we mind can can we say the cost of it like yeah I, I, I think they spent right? 3.6 building it in 2012 so imagine what it would cost to build today yeah. you know five million bucks yeah you know, something like that sure. I, I bought it for a million eight um which was a great you know uh, at the peak of the, the yeah. real estate market of so course. Because he had it for sale for a really long time, I was able to get it at a you know pretty reasonable price, and I can make the math work. And that's where I come up with. I think we're renting it now for fifty five hundred a week, which is still um, dirt cheap. For and this. and so and then and then uh, you know I'm, I'm putting all this fancy stuff in it to bring it up to OG spec. Yeah. So here's the, the up top of the elevator. Oh, this is where it'll be okay. Yeah. So someday so phase five. There. Yep. We'll we'll do our. It's pre wired for the elevator, all set up. That's very nice. And you can see the triple pane windows, right? Yep. So, so when the sun is on here, it's pretty cool. You hold your hand up, and it, you don't and feel you don't any feel heat. heat. Yeah. So this is going to become the racing simulator room. Right now, we have it as like a se separate little little it feels room. Feels like a massage room. A so spa. this is going to become. Uh, I'm going to put a racing sim, or possibly two, and then some theater seating here, so we, when your buddies can come and hang out. And you know, this is a car guy place. Yeah. Uh, and so that's the that's part of phase four. You know, sometime mid to late next year, I like to get some get into some racing simulator stuff. Figure out um, which ones I do. I'd love to do the SimCraft one that the Atlanta Garage has. has that, yeah. that one's a, a price of a GT4. Oh you know, God. that thing is 140 thousand bucks. I don't know. Did the, you try it though? Oh yeah, yeah. it's freaking amazing. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the master suite is over here. So it's in a separate wing. All of this was the original reclaimed pine from. There was an original little house on this lot okay that they that they you know sort of tore apart and redid yeah uh, and so this is the master so this area. is maddie's room yeah i guess so this is king size so this room's tricky because it has lutron let's see if the shades are still working the shades have been a problem for me but this has lutron serena or no lutron cuvone i think it's called so one touch operation uh, so the I problem with that. this room and they're blackout so this is like home theater blackout yes and so like the first day i slept till like 10 o'clock He's using Milwaukee something. So I, um, you know, turned this blacks out, and then I woke up at ten o'clock in the morning thinking it was six. <laughs> yeah, so. But I, I like that blacked out for a guy like me who goes to bed at four a.m. and I don't want to have the the sunlight blasting yeah. in my eyes. Yeah, Very nice. Big ass and you have two walkouts to go to separate balconies outside. Correct. Yep. Yeah, yep. that's nice. So you always have a view. If you want somebody wants to grab their morning coffee, boom. Yep. And these are all Pella windows, and those are Pella doors that you know European style locking mechanism. Yes which is great. Again, something I'd love to have, but would you really be able to swing it, you know? So that's what's so cool about this place. Yeah, for people who want to experience this, they, they get to have yeah. the, the full-blown, yep. what it feels to be in a house of this magnitude. And then this master bathroom is the complete opposite of my <laughs> style. But this is like my house, my Woodgate house. Remember my house? The yes. first uh, two houses ago, yeah. this was the style when I bought it. Everything was this yellow and like looked like this. So his but and her sinks? Heated floors, okay. whatever jet tub thingy, yes. steam shower. Yeah, you can fit a football team in there. Dry sauna. It's, it's pretty cool. Smart Dual sense. water closets. That's insane. I've never seen that before. His and hers bathrooms, you can yeah, look at yeah. each other when yeah, you're taking it. I love it. Them yeah. And it's just, you know, it's, again, style is a little bit off. But the function is really great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, three three different shower heads. It also has the the um, and a TV. the Delta digital shower. Okay. So it has the the digital um, touch screen. You adjust temperature, and you can turn it on by a remote and all that kind of stuff. Did you add that, or it came with it? No, it was here. Yeah. Wow. The greatest part about this house, though, somebody whoever designed the plumbing. I mean, it's a huge run for all the plumbing. Yeah. If I turn this water on in four seconds, it'll be hot. 
So they did anywhere in the whole house. So the recirc where... line. I'll show you that utility room downstairs. You'll so there's like a power that. pump that feeds the hot. Correct. Water, yeah. Yep. Yep. It's all open or PEX. They ran throughout this again, which was kind of cutting edge ten years ago. And uh, and then there's a there's a pressure pump as well as a separate standalone uh, traditional water heater for the recirc line. So there's constant hot water cycling through the house, and it's done very efficiently because the electric yeah. bill isn't too bad here. Uh, to where you know when you have a big house like this, if you don't plumb it properly, like even my house in Florida, it takes four minutes to get hot water to the darn spigot, and you're wasting so much water. Uh, just things like that really get me going. What know? does the utility bill look like in a house like this? Um, on average, it's 400 bucks a month. Wow, that's that's cheap for this. Yeah, season. right. So this time of year, the winter, you know, it'll be a couple hundred bucks in the summer, quite a bit more. Yeah. So this will be the second um, the second laundry. With a washer. I, I got to get a stack washer and dryer, and this will just be so we can turn over between between tenants, you know, between okay. borrowers. Um, so it's here. I'm going to utilize it. Um, this will be for the cleaning people to crank through to have all the linens going up here the second floor and then you know crank through uh, have the, the the laundry room downstairs rolling on the other stuff the other rooms so then i saw the craziest walk-in closet where you could do a, like a complete tour of, of yes closet. so here's my plan for this i think this is going to be cool the plan is to have all the og all the og gear so i'll have it in every size so you can come in here and try it on you can decide if there's something you like or don't like we got to do something that's a little dark, the lighting I don't love. But I'm also going to do, um, like like last time I was here, we did nine hikes. Uh, and so I'm creating a page on DestinationOG.com for the best hiking. And we're going to do the best fishing and the best mountain bike and the best kayaking and the best whitewater rafting. So over the course of the next three or four years, I'm going to figure that all out. So when you come here, you'll know where to go. And what activities you can do, yeah. Because if you were going to come here, you're not going to hike seven times. No. You're going to hike twice, maybe once. Give me the best one. Right. What's the best one for what I'm looking to accomplish? Yep. You know, I'm trying to convince Pan we're going to go hike 2,000 feet straight up, but he wants to do the baby hike. He's a, he's a professional hiker. I, I... I'm, <laughs> hiking is just walking in the woods. Oh, you guys do this all the time, Mr. We don't. Not all the time. <laughs> Come on, Pan. We got this. Walking in the woods. Where is he? Is he ahead of us? No. no. Oh, I can hear him breathing from that going off the mountains. So I want to have, like I found these hiking shoes, I want to have the hiking shoes in every size, yeah. you know, lined up in here. So when you come here, oh, you can QR okay. code scan it yeah. and you have your gear. Because what happens if you came here and you got into hiking? You hiped four or five times. You know, you know, I'd buy these shoes, you yeah. know, because I'd go out in my regular sneakers and you're going to be hurting and then you're going to want the good stuff. You have such uh, a, I, I love the vision that you have for the places that you And make. so this kind oh, of snakes way, around. You said OG1. If I can give a sneak peek to my viewers, yeah. does that mean there might be potential other OG destinations in the future? Oh, yeah, yeah. Once this gets done, it, it's already booked. So it's already carrying itself. Um, I think we've booked, what, 42 weeks thus far. In so advance. most of next year is booked. My goal was to book 20 weeks a year and we already booked 40 so um a few of those sprinkled into 2024 but the um the the goal would be to have as many of these as i can do because once i get through the phases then it'll just be maintaining it and yeah. i'll need a new muse i need a new garage to do i want to do a, a new home theater i want to do all that stuff so you check in on a thursday and check out on a wednesday so a full week correct the concept the reason i came up with that is helen gets kind of busy and to come in on weekends can be really annoying uh, plus, when I this is a really sophisticated house, we're gonna have things breaking, things like that need to be serviced. Yeah. So you check out on Wednesday. That gives us 24 hours to get it clean, get it fixed, get it up and running, get it back to OG spec. So people don't have to do anything here. You talked about cleaning. That's taken care yeah, of. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't want them doing that. But you know, most people are gonna come here and go to the grocery store. And they're gonna cook. Yeah. And most people are going to wash the, sh the towels a couple of times. You know, they're going to take care of the place. Yeah. So you're going to do what you or I would do. Treat it like your own. I'm super you careful. Know? Same thing if, for me. If not better. When I go to people's places, I, I take care. Yeah. And so then over here, so this gives us plenty of room to have room for people to put their stuff as well as outfit it with like maybe this game, the fishing closet. You know, they thought of everything in this place. The, the light turns on when you open the door. There's doors for everything. The key place. is, is that I want better light fixtures, yeah. you know, and so that'll be part of the phases as we work through. Yep. We'll lighten this up with a, with a different um, quality of, uh, of closet system. And uh, I want to be able to showcase that as well. This would be nice for my shoe collection. Like you could literally have everything in your house and you probably wouldn't even fill all of this. Yep. Wow. So let's go downstairs and I'll show you the basement. That home theater, but there's, there's even more things, guys. It's mind boggling. All right, so here's the basement. This is version one of the basement. 
Uh, version two, well, I want to have this as like if you're watching F1 race or you're into um, you know the Super Bowl or you're watching you know Major League Baseball playoffs or something like that. We're going to get some some better video in here. I'm planning to put a 77 OLED on the wall, uh, but there's all audio in here is controlled via your phone. I'll show you this later, but um, you, if, what do you use? Spotify, Apple Music, what Apple do you? Apple Music. Yeah. So you'd be able to go on Apple Music right now, as long as you're connected to the network of the house, and you'll be able to see all 12 zones right there on your phone. You don't have to program anything, you don't have to log into anything. Uh, and so the, the way that this house is set up with the NAD system that we offer, the speakers were already in here. My long-term goal would be to switch these all out with Dynaudio because these are some cheap, you know, okay. cheap, you know, inexpensive speakers in comparison to what I would like. Um, but this, this down here is the hangout area. If you had a bunch of friends some coming over, I bought some games. goofy little video games and um, I, I, my youth. I didn't expect to get this done as quickly as I did. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, we have, uh, you know, the ping pong set up and I bought, um, if you want to have a boys night and watch a game of sports. Yeah. And I bought some like legit killer spin pa paddles and stuff, you know, so of course I started doing Why some research. I, I found these, I didn't know this was a thing, but I found no noise balls. So when the kids are down here playing, these don't make noise when they bounce, Very smart. unlike a ping pong ball. Yeah. So and and so then back here is uh, the the other guest room. So this would be the fourth so bedroom. Do you have a wet bar here? Yep. Bathroom here. This is my favorite style bathroom. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, another guest room here. So with another, everyone has their own closet. Yep. So, so the great. closet system will be in here in probably February. And then here's what I'm planning to do. You'll like this. So this is going to become the bunk room. Might seem a little odd right now, but what I'm going to do is this door is going to come out. I'm going to have a single French door. So there'll be some light that comes in. Okay. Uh, and then I've already ordered the bunks. They're due in March. And so there's going to be basically two a uh, bed that runs all the way across with two bunks. So it'll be four beds, but they will be twin XL. So they're full king size length. Uh, and then I'm going to have a TV on the wall here. We're going to enclose the ceiling uh, and here is going to become a closet. So I'm going to section this off. So this will stay the server room, but imagine we'll have four different closet stations so that when you come, you can stow your, you know, your luggage and then you'll have your own hamper, your own drawers and your own hanging. So all four people. So the guys who don't pay, you know, the, the guys who pay the least. So let's say you had four or five buddies. The rich guy gets the master. Yeah, the the guy who paid the second most gets the junior master. And the guys that don't pay anything come down into the bunk room. Yeah. Or the kids. Yeah. The kids, kids love bunk And have rooms. fun. And yeah, exactly. And so that'll, Talk that'll, yeah. And we're going to have like iPad plugins and all that kind of stuff. So this is, um, we're going to do this winter. Uh, maybe the, I guess the spring because I needed to order the beds, the frames. And so we'll put a ceiling in. We're going to change the lighting, put some, you know, put some better flooring in here. And so you'll walk into the closet. There will be a doorway here. So we're basically going to put a wall up for the server area. Yeah. This is where all the NAD stuff is. So this is rack. This is the 778 that's doing, which I've fallen, I've fallen in love with this receiver. It's awesome. So this is doing the theater upstairs, the family room. How this many is, channels is this? Uh, this is uh, eight channel, nine channel. Okay. Yeah, and um, and then this is the C five eighty. So this is a four zone. Uh, basically, that blue sound node you have in your garage, yeah. it's four of them in one box. Okay. Uh, so four separate zones, and then this is the amplifier that's powering. Um, so this is powering. Uh, four zones. This is another four zones, and then I have another four zones. I, that's what actually was the amplifier that's upstairs. Wow! And then battery backup. Your networking gear. Mm -hmm. And you can see they wanted yeah, yeah, the crap out of this place. Cabling, yeah. So I'd love to have someone come into a patch panel in here, so it looks super clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's some of the things I'll be chasing here in the future. That goes to show everything that goes into having all this tech in, in a home. Yeah, yeah. So this is where my things would be really, really cool, really fun once we get the uh, the bunk room set up. By the way, I like a little technical details. I asked Mike how many uh, panels there were because in my house I have 250 amps for 300. I think he said there's 800 amps or something. Yeah, it's like 800 amp service. Yeah. yeah. So this is your favorite. This is for you out here. I want to, and we're going to make sure you get your workouts in. So I might not look at it, look like it, but I'm a pretty avid CrossFitter. Yeah, yeah. You, you uh, and so I built a uh, CrossFit gym out here. Of course, everything rogue. Yep. God. So I hit up my, my buddies at Rogue Fitness and bought a bunch of stuff. You finished this recently, eh? Yep. And so, you know, in the fall, we have to come and blow this off with the leaf blower. But um, I like it out here in the mountains outside. Yeah. Part of the next phase, I'm going to put some, um, some infrared heaters out here so you can come out here year round. Uh, this stuff, people are, seem to be really concerned that this is going to hold up. But 
This stuff is all powder coated steel. It's gonna yeah. be just fine. And you, it's not like you're getting salt or crazy yeah. winter months like we so have. So Concept 2 rower, Concept 2 ski erg, the Rogue air bike, Jeez. box jumps. I got sandbags. How much did you spend just on the gym area? This is 12 grand. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, which, you know, I think is pretty reasonable. <laughs> yeah, reasonable. Yeah, 12,000 bucks out here. We got pretty much everything you That's need. nice, yeah, very nice. I, I might get a few more dumbbell sizes, uh, but in general, this is fully equipped and ready for you to get a workout in. Like even if somebody is a legit trainer, he can come here and still yeah. have his workouts done. A lot of people but need CrossFit that. But CrossFit style, you know? Yeah, yeah. This is a CrossFit style setup. Yeah, very And nice. so like if you were big into it, you'd bring your own jump rope and maybe a couple of your own things, but your own wrist wraps. But in general, this thing is set up for, you know, full function ready to go and again a nice environment too like it doesn't yeah. can't hurt if you have this back yeah, you got the stream at. running down here it's that's nice. the that's the eighth tee you know the ninth tee is over here so a golf course yeah yeah so let's go to the cool part in the pool area in the home theater so then out here is the current outdoor kitchen with the evo cooktop you ever yes. seen an evo never evo 30g which is a basically a big cast iron i saw like cooking some hamburgers on here yep yeah Jeez. Yeah, so um, I'm an Evo dealer now. I love the Evo. So they can and buy this off you too? Mm -hmm. wow. Yep. And so we'll be um, working on, we work with NatureCast cabinets, Alfresco grills, Evo grills, um, Venta hood, uh, Perlick uh, refrigeration. So this is not up to standard. See, here's what happens with, with this kind of stuff. So these are wood cabinets. Yeah. So they <laughs> swell and create, you know, they have problems over time where they don't close quite right. Uh, and so we're doing a, a cabinet from a company called NatureCast that are made out of PVC, re PVC boxes and resin faces. You could throw it at the bottom of the pool for 100 years, pull it out, and it'd be like brand new. So you're working on an exterior full kitchen solution? Correct. That'll so upstairs, insane. I'll show you, how to, and as we wrap this up, I'll show you where we're going to build the kitchen. That's the, that's the next phase this, this winter. Okay. We're going to come up and we're going to build a crazy outdoor kitchen. Oh, so it won't be here? No. Okay. We'll probably leave this here yeah. for those who want to entertain the pool deck. Yeah. So we have audio out here, and then the pool is pretty cool. Um, hot gorgeous. tub. Beautiful. I'd really like to get a heat pump out here because it's kind of hard to heat it this time of year with yeah. propane, yeah. but it's propane heated. Uh, I just got the furniture last time we were here on phase two, so we got all our outdoor furniture set up. This is all from, uh, uh, what is the brand the of this? The company you love. I know. It's this. not Summer Classics. I, I cheaped out. It's. Um, they're very nice. I can't remember the name. Swiveling chairs. So you can literally have like entertainment zones all throughout the house. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And just chill and. and you're looking out over the mountainside here and you see the Your leaves. Your kids must love this. I'm sure they went in change. it already. Yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't been in it. Everybody else has, it's not me. Yeah, the view is absolutely gorgeous. And then the home theater's in here. So oh, this. Oh God. This was a workout area. And you totally transform this. So again, separated from the rest of the house. Yep. Um, so in here, so this is a NAD Dyn Audio setup. So all Dyn Audio Evoke. I don't like, you know how you guys have to deal with banding and deal with the size and aspect ratio all the time. You have to program I don't worry and... about that though, but I have both. So I have OLED and home theater. Home yeah. theater, it does the size well. Yeah. But yeah, OLED for sure for... So as the size becomes bigger, I'll swap oh, yeah, this yeah. out and go to 98 when the 98 becomes reasonable, which we're not far day. away. Yeah. Yeah. hundred plus inch OLED direct view displays are not far off. So this is your 83, right? It's 83. Yeah. 83 LG C1. I had to draw the line somewhere. I spent so much money, so I would have loved to have the G2 in here, but you know, the C1 is, is great. And, yeah. and we'll have, uh, at some point I'll have an ISF calibration, my ISF guy come and calibrate. Uh, but these are, so this is Dolby Atmos 7.4, or 7.2, technically 7.1.4. So you have four height channels there? Correct. Yep. You have the four rear channels. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I like the idea of taking, because Dynaudio doesn't make a dedicated surround. So I took the Evoke bookshelves and used them as surrounds, which are great for that. Yeah. In a perfect world, you'd put floor standing all around you and hang floor standing from the ceiling. But it's just um, not viable for yeah. like a place where people might right, come and go right. there. Yeah. Right. And then, you know, I could put speakers, you know, at ear height in the rear, but it's just, you know, you, you got to make some sacrifice. You got to make Absolutely. some compromises yep. in a room to make it functional. Yep. So and this I is... I confirm it sounds crazy. We watched Top Gun Maverick 
Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I, well, I'm super impressed with this receiver. So the receiver is actually powering most of it, uh, and then uh, I have a, a two, dedicated two-channel amp for the fronts, and then I needed an additional two-channel amp for the extra heights because the NAD only has amplification for one pair of at most, not two. So uh, you're full so. NAD everywhere. Correct. Yeah. Yep. So this guy powers the fronts. So that center. powers the center okay. surrounds. Uh, and one pair of heights. Okay. The C298, which is the big boy, that powers the left and right. Uh, and then I have the other two heights. That the two front heights are by the the C268 amplifier. And uh, and it's even more than enough because although Dynaudio might not be, let's say, as efficient out as Polk Audio or Certainly some not, other ones, yeah. but they they played amazingly well. Yeah, tons, tons of tons of headroom, tons of power. Yeah. And then over here is going to become, this is a vault. And you have dual subs, by the way, too, eh? Correct, yeah. Same subs you have in your garage, just two of them, sub six. So this is a, uh, a gun vault. <laughs> so what we're going to turn this into is a snack vault. I love that idea. Yeah, yeah. so this is going to become a snack vault area. With some zebra cakes. There's, there's, uh, there's dehumidifiers all throughout the house. The house has all carrier infinity um, air conditioning. That's what makes it, makes it super efficient. It's about 20 sear. Uh, let's say there's three units for the whole house. But the whole house has supplemental dehumidification. So when we're coming in here listening to watching a movie, we turn the dehumidifier off so that way you don't hear it buzzing. Yep. And we have a silent setup. So in here, we're going to line this whole wall. You guys don't have Cracker Barrels in, in Canada. Have you ever been to a Cracker Barrel? No. So a Cracker Barrel, when you go in, it's, a, it's like a country breakfast place, right? They serve all kinds of stuff, but it's really a breakfast place. But when you walk in, there's a store, a country store. And in that store, it has all old school candy. You know, like Big League Chew and has like snow caps and all the different things that you'd ever wanted or grow up having. Smarties and all kinds of crap. So I had envisioned having this outfitted with every bit of candy and cookies and cake and all the different things you could ever want. And we'll have a little, we'll have, we'll give them the code. Like you got to scan it and pay 200 bucks or something and you get full access to the room, wow. raid the room, and then we'll just restock it as people use it. So that's, that's one of the visions I have. I think it'd so be like really cool. like a theater cool. experience, but on steroids. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that'd be, that'd be kind of fun. What would be really cool is, you know, that Coca-Cola machine that yeah, makes yeah, all yeah. the different kinds of stuff that they have at like certain restaurants. I think that could be cool. Yeah, that could be awesome. Although I don't, I don't know if I want people dumping uh, soda all over the, the vision, stuff. The vision, and so a huge couch too. This yes. is a super comfy one. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, the, again, we, we're struggling with the ability to get things, you know, with yeah. supply chain issues. Uh, and so I had a company that was willing to make this. They whipped it up in like uh, I think it was four weeks. Uh, so we were able to get this couch in, uh, in pretty short order. Same thing with the one upstairs. And I wanted something really big. You know, I wanted it this. It makes more sense than theater seating in this place because if you're entertaining a lot of people, yeah, be like 12 people watching a movie. I don't, I don't like theater seating because you can't lay on it. You know, you have to sit upright. I like to lay. Well, Vert mine reclines, sideways. but yeah, this is this yeah. is very very comfortable. And then you get to see kind of the the guts or some of the some of the real sophistication of this house in here. So this is the utility room. Uh, and so you can see the carrier infinity system, the yeah. ultra air, um, uh, supplemental dehumidification. You see all the closed cell foam, yeah. blown, uh, uh, spray foam insulation, a full, very sophisticated multi-stage uh, carbon and then um, um, resin-based uh, water filtration. Uh, and there's your salt tank. Yeah. This, was the, uh, this was the recirc I was talking about, the Grunfels recirc. That's the pressure tank that pressurizes the water system throughout the whole house. Uh, and then you have your normal um, tankless water heaters. Uh, just a lot of thought went into this place Good and choice. how they designed it Good and choice. how they built it. You've got your lift stations that will pump the sewage up to the city uh, sewage system. Um, so all the water drains down and pumps out. And there's your Upanor Pex there. Uh, just really, really sophisticated, really, really well done house. Are you on a septic tank system here? Uh, no, it's city. Sewer city water. sewer and water. Um, this, uh, th this also has a 40 kilowatt hour generator. So the whole house is powered by a thousand gallon uh, propane tank. This room That's here like is what made me buy the house. Yeah. Like if you knew what you're looking at, which I kind of do enough, yeah. I know enough. You know the guys obsessed. I knew that whoever built this house knew what they were doing. Uh, and uh, the builder that they chose was legit. Uh, and so despite the fact we're always going to have maintenance and stuff to do, you know, you see us working on the outside of the house there. There's some, there's some uh, dry rot from uh, 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 like a broken um, um, drip channel. Um, we're going to, but we're going to chase keeping this place dialed and making it look great. So, so that's the plan here is to, to, to keep this place up 
and then share it with the world. Let's go upstairs and we'll wrap up on the outdoor deck and absolutely see the view. So out here is going to become the outdoor kitchen. So we're on the back side of the, 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 the indoor kitchen, the regular kitchen on the second floor. Some different seating are going to set up, maybe an outdoor table. Uh, but I love to be able to walk. I love to grill. Yeah. And I love to be able to walk outside of the kitchen because you can go back and forth to the things you need from the kitchen. Walking downstairs is kind of clunky. And so the concept up here, I'm going to do some ridiculous crap. I want to do a Traeger Smoker, the new Traeger Timberline XL. I'm going to do an Alfresco 52-inch grill, the Evo, do another Evo here, do you know ice machine, do all the cool stuff. The only thing we won't be able to do is a sink and water out here because there's no water. Yeah. Um, but we'll be able to do everything else. And the kitchen, I mean, is right, right there. Yep. So you come right out that door, and then you can kind of go back and forth. You're using the oven, come out here and cook and just, you know, entertain and get to see all the different things that we do. So nature cast cabinets, you know, alfresco, perlic, all the cool stuff that I'm super interested in. Uh, we'll have, uh, we already have some just speakers, so we'll have some great audio out here. Uh, we'll get that all set up and, um, and kind of complete the, the house, complete the entertainment value of the house. And so the concept would be to, you know, showcase, like I said, everything that we do, yeah. everything that we can do. And then once we get this house up and running and we'll go do another one. So the main message for anybody who wants to basically experience anything that Obsessed Garage sells, this is like the pinnacle of the vision? I think it'd be worthwhile. Imagine you were thinking about doing a garage. You weren't sure what you want to spend money on, what you don't. Yeah. You see that, uh, you know, two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand dollar, you know, you know, four, let's say four car or five car garage. Yeah. Uh, you can come here and you can say, well, I really don't care for the lift. I don't need these tools. I don't need those lights, but I want this, this, and that. Or if you're interested in, you know, you know, some of the solutions like the drawer organization, the outdoor kitchen, the closets, or you know, you get to come bring your family here. The cool thing about this place is Michelle doesn't care about any of this crap. My kids don't care about any of this stuff. No. And so when they came here, they were here for 10 days. They ran out of uh, time, not stuff to do. Uh, so the other great part about this area in Helen is there's tons of you know, tubing and ruby mining and hiking and swimming and fishing and all the things you could possibly want to do for car guys. This is Car Guy Nexus, the, one of the Absolutely. greatest roads in America is four Your miles out the mountains, gate. I hear you talk about. Yeah, yeah, we're in the Smoky Mountains, yeah. And so this, there's great driving, the Tale of the Dragons, an hour and a half from here, but it's a fun hour and a half drive. Uh, the High Highlands, North Carolina is a great place to go to dinner and shop. So we're right in the heart of the Smoky Mountains and, you know, but we're a little, we're in the south part of it. So it's pretty temperate, even the winter, you can come here in the winter and still enjoy, it doesn't snow much. So you can go rip the roads all year round, which is And really, there'll be really a cool. part where I think you'll have have one of your new cars eventually available to people if they want to yeah. check that out too? Yeah, so uh, I have a G80 M3. Uh, uh, it was a, they call it Yare, the 50th anniversary, yeah. in, uh, in Techno Violet that's going to be here. Uh, I think I'm going to do it for a thousand bucks. So a thousand bucks extra. And for the full week? Yeah, I'm going to drive them. I can imagine that. So you, you don't have to here. worry about bringing your car. And, right. Yeah. So if you're from Canada or from California <laughs> or if you're from the Netherlands and you want to come here, um, and I think it would be important to have a car. And now, selfishly, I'm putting the car here for me. Yeah. So I have a car here. Yep. Uh, but then I'll let people borrow it. And part of the requisite, you'll love this. If you're, I don't care if you're paying or not. You've got to wash it before you leave. Right? I love that. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Love that. We all, and we all love that. I, yeah. I would be happy to pay, and exactly. then I want to, you know, and, and then and I you'll get, get to enjoy the, this yeah, crazy Yeah, you have thing. to use yeah. all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So those are the kind of things that regular people get turned off by that motivate guys like us. Absolutely. So let's walk around the front, and we'll wrap it up. Yep. Seeing it come to fruition like this, and well, the rest of the steps, Stuff like this makes it scary, work, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm the same. When I see stuff like that, it, it creates anxiety. <laughs> oh, actually, but you have Mike here. Yeah, well, when Mike Jeez. starts saying, oh boy. Yeah, that's, that's not good, eh? That's like Is when that, my dad used to yeah. say, that's a lot. So that's a lot, Pan. What do you think, man? <laughs> it, it, the guys, it blew my mind. I saw all the videos before coming here, and despite seeing all of that, Matt, I have to say, in person, it is a completely different experience. Getting all the explanations as well today, I hope you enjoyed this, by the way. We got it from the horse's mouth, but uh, 
If you guys, the, the cool thing, if you want anything that you see, you can pick up over at Obsess Garage. Always honor the source because there's a lot of work that comes into creating all of this. Uh, he's been doing this for years now. But not only that, if you want to have something custom done, they can also reach out to your team, right? Yeah. So, so say they don't want all of this, but a part of this. Right. So we do 3D render walkthroughs now. Like I have a whole design team where um, actually you guys saw Sean down in the basement was designing somebody's yep. garage. So he came up so he could physically see what he designed. You know, him and Kyle designed this. So Kyle and the design team is available through the drafting room at, at OG. Um, and then like even like if you wanted the buckets or you wanted the spray bottles, I mean, we're here to kind of help help do that. So my whole goal in life is to selfishly find this stuff for myself. And if it meets the Maddie test, if you will, yeah. then I feel comfortable in offering it to the world. Uh, and so this has been a muse for me to put it all together in one spot. It's a bit overwhelming. It is. Is like, this going to be the longest video <laughs> in your channel of all time? You know? I'm still taking it in. Like every single door you open, there's something new to, well, that's the whole thing. It's an experience. So I think if people come here, not only will they have a beautiful location, because we can't stop talking about that as well. The backdrop that you're getting, it's gorgeous. We're mid-October now and the leaves are changing colors. I mean, it's and year round, you said there's always something to do around here. But beyond that, if you're remotely passionate about cars in general, especially if you watch both our channels, for sure you love keeping your car clean, this is the ultimate. For me, I can tell you, this is uh, 10 notches above what I have in my own garage, and I have a lot of envy right now, but we'll, we'll work with Matt on something for mine eventually. But if you wanna book this place, by the way, I remind you, although he's booked in for like 40 some plus <laughs> weeks, Check the, the schedule and the calendar. And the yeah, there's the a calendar on des destinationog.com. Yeah, yeah. Yep. and go go to it's destinationog.com. Destination OG. Yeah, and if you go there and you'll see the Helen stuff, and we're building out like the hiking thing, the hiking page, and you and I are going to go fishing, so we're going to capture some footage there. Kate went to baby land for the stuff for kids to do. So we have some footage of her going there, vlogging that. And so the, the, the long-term goal is to provide an end-to-end -end solution, not just garage stuff, yeah. not just the few things that I sell, but, but all things, you know, and, and even things that I'm not able to sell, making sure people know what it is. So they have an, an opportunity to use it as a shopping list, a shopping yeah. guide. And that, yeah. that's really what the, the point of Destination OG is for me, is I want to create basically a shopping catalog you know, where I have multiple properties throughout different areas, interesting areas of the country, where we get to use the property as a muse, uh, and then basically build, you know, when I was a kid, I loved the Sears catalog, and I would just flip through the catalog looking at all different types of stuff. Uh, and so I basically want this to become a website that's a catalog of all things that I've learned to this point, Absolutely. and to continue to evolve that over time. Uh, and, you know, maybe find some other unique properties throughout. I'd like to have several in the mountains here. Yeah. Uh, the issue I'm gonna have is now I wanna come here, and it's darn book out so I'm gonna have <laughs> Can't to get even another enjoy house. his own house that's crazy <laughs> but but you know another thing that I I want to tell the viewers is you know Matt for his wash and talks if you watch his channel he likes to do that and you know I love cleaning washing detailing we're gonna figure something out because why be here and not use the garage so stay tuned for more content guys uh, Matt, just thanks for hosting me. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, uh, this is fun. It's going to be a fun week for sure. Yeah, I had you here not to promote it. Thanks no. for promoting it for me. I had you here so we could hang well, out for the, the week. it's the minimum for me because, like, yeah. and by, by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Um, really was out just the kindness of his heart. He's like, come over. He was talking on one of his blogs one day. Or no, your, it was one of your live streams. Yeah. And then I said, wow, that place looks awesome. Just invited me here, and here we are connecting again. Yeah, let's again. come and hang out. I exactly. mean, that's, that's the goal of this place is to sure. make it available to those that are discerning that would uh, really yeah. enjoy an experience like this, try to keep Keep it as reasonably priced as possible, yep. uh, and then you know, hopefully, um, I'll be able to do more properties so more people can come and experience, you know, the the type of style that I'm interested in. And again, the requisite here is to make it for me, and then if I like it, other people probably would too. Absolutely. Uh, and that that helps me not cut corners, you yep. know. And there's no rental corners cut here. Uh, this is set up. I, I wouldn't call this super high end. This isn't designed to be you know, richy or classy. It's just designed to feel like home. Absolutely. Uh, and, and home with n really nice stuff in it. And sometimes the really nice stuff is expensive. Sometimes it's moderately priced. Yeah. Uh, and in the case of this, you know, this garage, we spared no expense. There's certainly some, we could bought fancier tools and could have, you know, put some more expensive lights or something. But really, this is what I would do at my own house. Exactly. And that, that's what I'm hoping to share. So. And, and I'm curious, you guys, you've seen all of it now. OG des Destination, OG1. Let me know in the comment section under the video. What was your favorite part? I'm sure you guys are looking forward to also coming again. Check the link if you want to book it out. But uh, yeah, thanks to Matt. Thanks to all the team for the wonderful work that they did. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and we'll see you on the next one.
That was awesome, man.